they found us. Yay! Good morning, Polly's Island peeps. I'm gonna let you hold this and I'll grab the other one and I'll start sharing it. Okay, it's ready. Today is Tuesday. Tranquility Tuesday. April 6, 2021. And it is time for your Polly's Island Sunrise and Surf Report with Dave Clayton and Lisa Clayton. Coming to you live here from the beautiful Polly's Island Beach here in Polly's Island, South Carolina. Hey Catherine, how are you? <laughs> Oops, sorry, a little crooked. Hey Kip, hey Gay, you're fine. Got some beautiful colors this morning. Oh, gentle, gentle waves this morning. One foot waves today. <laughs> gorgeous Dave and I walked in from the third access which there's about five parking places there so if you get here early enough you just might get lucky but it's a great little great little area Sunrise is in about how many minutes? Right now. Yeah. It I is. Told you it wasn't gonna happen at 6:56. Told you yours is two mm. minutes behind. Mine, mine says 6:54. No, yours says 6:56 at 6:58. And then sunset is 7:42. Oh, I'm a believer. I love it. Happy Easter. High tide was this morning at 4.14. Okay, it's coming. It just peaked. See that little tiny hot spot? Our friends will see it in just a minute. Libby. I love the way the shape is coming in. Gosh, it's huge this morning.
So low tides at 1029. It's 58 degrees right now. And there is a wind out of the southwest. But it's not necessarily warm. Sweatshirt morning. Yeah, we did a warm sweatshirt today. Mm -hmm. It was not a two sweatshirt day. Mm. Crazy how it's very it, similar to the cup. It does look like the mug. <laughs> we'll show in a minute that. We'll show y'all in a minute. Definitely tell it's spring break here. Tons of people on the beach again this morning for sunrise. It's so nice to see other people because you're so used to usually being maybe two of three or four people on the beach in the morning. <laughs> I know. Usually we just see Paul and Pirate and Libby. There's a couple others here and there sometimes. Depends on. So we got to show you how I got to show you how similar this is. I know this is not for marketing purposes at all, but check this out. Isn't that cool? Good morning, Greg Deemer. Greggy, Greggy's in Naples. Enjoying some Florida weather. Yes. What's the temperature in Naples right now, Greggy? I'm impressed you're up. Greg's on vacation. So I gotta tell you how impressed I am with you, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, Lisa went to the cabin and cleaned it. She backed the boat down all by herself. Well, with with Lauren's help and Chelsea's help, the I'm three. Backing up now. You are. She backed the trailer down perfectly. That's we not easy. Ever. Went to the cabin, cleaned it, got everything ready, and then picked the folks up. They're from Greenville. Picked them up and ferried them to the cabin. Got them all set up. Did everything 100%. So I just am so impressed. Oh yeah, and then one more thing. <laughs> when you came back to the dock... What happened? Tell everybody what happened. Well, there were people fishing on the dock, so I had to come in at an odd angle, and I went to grab the dock, the side, you know, the side of the dock, so I could pull the boat up to it. Because Lauren can't back the trailer up, so I needed to go up and back the trailer in. And as I leaned over to grab the dock, my phone that was in my pocket jacket that I had on decided it would slide right on out, and I watched it as it gently tilted down into the river. It was a very sad moment. So if any of you have tried to call Lisa in the last... 10 hours. A <laughs> little more than that. It's not because she hasn't not called you back because she doesn't care about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good thing it was paid off. And I was super afraid. I just didn't feel like getting one yet. That was a great phone. Such is life. Hey, something's out there. I think we might have a dolphin. All right. Yay, it's a dolphin morning. All right, let's see how our bars are at two. Be careful. We were at four. 
Were we? All right, we're looking for dolphin, y'all. So was it towards the sun or was it to the right of the sun? I'm breaking over there, hang on. Over here? Let's see. Because it was a singular event, it could have been a spinner shark, so. Water temperature 60 degrees again today. Glorious morning. It is. Very tranquil. Tranquil Tuesday. So this morning, I get to go back to the cabin and pick up the folks that are there from Greenville, and I get to chauffeur them in the boat to the Delta. Which is fun because the Delta, it might have eh, 10, 12 people a week show up at it. <laughs> it's such an isolated place. Very off the grid. No phone signal whatsoever. So if you ever are looking for tranquil off the grid, we can help you with that. Yes. So these yes, folks. Yes, it is beautiful. These folks have four children. And they, um, they're sweet as can be. They're from Greenville. She and I were definitely kismet friends Im Im immediately because her daughters had names like Georgiana and Eleanor. And I was like looking at her and she's like, I'm a big Jane Austen fan. And I was like, oh, me too. <laughs> of course, her husband, so she had four girls and every one of them had, there were Charlotte's. <laughs> Eleanor Georgiana and I, I'm trying to remember the other one but it was not Elizabeth and it was not Jane so any of you Jane Austen fans yeah have a blessed Tuesday you too Betsy oh nice day in Augusta 85 it's going to be a little warm You put your shorts on and get a little bit of a little bit of sun on the, on the legs. It's gonna be warm here too. Mm -hmm. You ready for some good news? Always ready for good news. We need it, don't we? So today, good news. The good news comes from Colossians 1, 13 and 14. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. That's perfect good news to read right after Easter. For sure. All right. Thank you, Carla. I don't think we've ever gone live sideways before. Nope. I don't think we've ever made that mistake before. I love the way you keep saying we, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hit the button. I know. I still don't know what you did. I think I rushed hitting the button before the phone had time to calibrate up and down and left and right. I think that's what it was. So I take responsibility for that. It's the only way to get better is to take responsibility, take responsibility for it. several 
some sunrises in a row. Mm -hmm. We sure have. That's right. Summertime is game. Time for games. Fun and games. <laughs> With some really cool prizes. That's so cool. Those pelicans. They are flying fast. Boy, they are moving. Sure is nice to have you with us, Lise. <laughs> How many bars do you have right here? Should be three. Let's see, because we dropped a lot of people. Yeah, we got a little boring, I think. <laughs> oh, really? Sounds like we got some work to do. Yeah, we're going to go pick up some trash. I'm going to get a bag and trash stick thing. Sometimes the wind, when it's windier, takes its trash away from people. They don't even know it's happened. It's happened to me. Yeah. How boring would life be if we didn't have trash to pick up? We just sit there. Now we get to go get exercise and get our hamstrings going. We can bend over. I know, for 24 days. Yay. All right, you ready to go pick up some trash? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna turn this thing around. All right, y'all. It's haircut day. Yay. <laughs> for you. It is. All right, see you all around. All right, everybody have an incredible Tuesday. God bless you. Thank Keep you. you. Help you make his choices, the best choices, today and every day. Every day, signing out. Have an amazing one.